Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of our devlog. Today we're going to show you a little deep dive into the development of the next demo, which is also coming pretty soon. So let's get into it. Alright, so our plan now is to go through the game design for the puzzle part or the wordplay. And the uh, goal is to have uh, Johannes implement the um, prototype for it. We have set up the flow now as we think it should be implemented and we just need to discuss uh, especially localization when it comes to the riddles. In the game we have something called the, the riddle or the riddle box, which will be a new feature. It's a riddle that uh, Hector and Max gets from their uh, grandmother and they have to go back to Jerusalem to find all the answers for it. And the first one is this uh, puzzle wheel with different elements and items. So the outer ring and the second ring is connected. That was what we discussed with Aaron, right? Yeah. Uh, just, just a quick uh, uh, question here. Yeah. This, this, to me, this seems like an absolute nightmare to make in UMG. Uh, what do you think about that, uh, Johannes? <laughs> Yeah, this, that, this could be way, 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 way too complex to a quick fix. I kind of want to, to try. I, I can do some shader uh, stuff, I think, oh, yeah. for dividing it up. I have done some some of it uh, in the past, but it, it's for sure some some experience I have to dig up again. <laughs> but at least the image and the inner circle, maybe the outer circle will be a different uh, widget. Or it will only be one texture, uh, at least the galactic grid and the different layers and the blockouts, as well as when you rotate. Was it clear with the percentage of the, the rings, Johannes? I think so, like uh, at least the last meeting, it has been some discussion between, so we should clarify it a bit, but the uh, outer ring stays still. Yeah. Right. Yes. Uh, and the second like, item ring mm -hmm. will uh, not be controlled by players, uh, only the other rings, right? Yeah. But couldn't it yeah. like, it can, it can be random which, which direction it rotates, but isn't it uh, more logic that it uh, when you are finished rotating a ring, it's closer to it's you. closer to the actual goals. When you're moving a ring, it's actually towards the right direction or the right position. Yeah, of it. I have two things regarding that because it's four rings and it moves one spot to the correct cell. You can easily like understand where it's completed because you know like okay, I have the outer circle 100% correct or I know the inner circle is perfect. So if I try to unrotate, I can see the outer or item spin one back uh, okay and then I, I connect like uh, one ring equals one step closer and it's four rings so i know four ticks is the correct answer so you can kind of predict if that's the case it's uh, easy to see a pattern in in that case at least for if you like uh, but if you have uh, a percentage understand the behavior mm -hmm. because uh, one is the pattern recognition we could make that advanced yeah but the uh, second point is uh, just uh, logic. It's very or much easier to just set up randomness. It could be seeded randomness as well. So if you rotate one circle, it will ro uh, randomly rotate to one spot. But if you ro rotate it back again, it will rotate to the same spot it started. So mm -hmm. it won't be a, ro a new random mm -hmm. I each think it, time. Yeah, we can. At least I think for it demo, makes. A good, uh... Yeah, I think it makes sense, and I think it's also fun to do it in that way. That's something I wonder, Alex. So for the interaction with the guy selling horse, what system are you using there now? Is it the dialogue? Yeah, yeah. But we can use whatever we want. Okay. But we can also just make it into a shop with some horse icons. I'm not sure what we should do there. I mean, but if, if it's one person, an NPC you're talking to, and he's selling you something, it could also be a good option to have the dialogue, what do you think? I, I think so, but the only thing I, th I think we should do is to try to get the dialogue options earlier or together with the, the question from the shopkeeper. Yeah. So now it's fading out, you're waiting, you're waiting, and then the options comes up. I think... You have a flow for it, don't you? Yeah, or I have some wishes. Yeah, I have some wishes on that. That's cool. And if I try Did to you see that? it now... No. Do it again, Alex. Work. Just end it quick. That's right. Oh, okay. That's really now I will be blocked again. Nice. So nice, okay. Alex. Is this good? Uh, let's see. So now I have to... Or spin activation. Not by might, nor by power. 
but my spirit. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Pay attention to him, Max. <laughs> His eyes. Look at the <laughs> Can you fix that, uh, Johannes? I can uh, ask uh, Marcus to fix it. <laughs> I think it was also with... Is the lighting changed? Uh, hopefully. Yeah, see, so it's just Hebron in general, I would say. Oh, no, yes, I see. Oh, but that's what they said. They said, right? It's a different guy, is it? It's a different guy, because it's... Yeah. Okay, thank you, guys. Well done. And let's uh, go further into details and do the work. So as you can see, a lot of interesting stuff is happening on uh, Gate Zero project. We are happy to have you along. And uh, those of you who haven't done it already, go to get.gatezero.game and sign up for our launch invite. By doing that, you will get all the information you need. And we hope you will spread it with your family and friends as well. So uh, until next time, see you.